Welcome to another edition of Caution Caveman Cooking's C3 TV, where we show you recipes so simple, even a caveman can do it. I'm Mark Caveman Avery, and on today's episode, we've got a simple but scrumptious side dish that goes equally well with an everyday meal as it does with a holiday feast, the mashed potato. <laughs> Not the song and dance, I'm talking my famous garlic mashed taters. A simple yet yummy mashed potato recipe that's sure to get your taste buds dancing and your guests singing your culinary praises. For this dish, you'll need six medium potatoes, scrubbed and quartered. As for choice of potato type for this recipe, russets are fine, but Yukon Gold or Red are a much better alternative. Now, thinly slice six cloves of garlic lengthwise. Then fill a large pot halfway with water. Add half the garlic and a teaspoon of salt. Heat the water over a medium-high flame. I also like to add the potatoes at this time so as not to scald myself with splashing boiling water. Allow it to reach a full boil and continue to cook until the potato chunks are easily pierced by a fork. In the meantime, take the other half of the garlic slices and place them into a small piece of aluminum foil. Drizzle them with one teaspoon of olive oil and create an aluminum foil tent. Go ahead and roast the garlic at 350 degrees Fahrenheit in a toaster oven or a conventional oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until the slices are tender. While all that is cooking, we're gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, we're gonna mix and mash. For more on the dish we are featuring today, or for a bunch of other great, delicious, and easy recipes, just go to the Caution Caveman Cooking website at cavemancooking.net. You'll find step-by-step -step illustrated instructions that will walk you through everything from soups to salads, side dishes to main dishes, and hors d'oeuvres to desserts. Stop by and say hi at cavemancooking.net. Welcome back to Caution Caveman Cooking's C3 TV. I'm Mark Caveman Avery, and today we're making my famous garlic mashed taters. So far, we've gotten the potatoes boiling and some garlic roasting. Now, in a large bowl, add a quarter cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of well-softened cream cheese, one tablespoon of butter, also well-softened, a quarter cup of milk, two to three well-chopped green onions, and the roasted garlic. While all these ingredients do combine to make this dish the angioplasty special, if you only make it a few times a year, your cardiologist shouldn't mind too much. Besides, when you take a bite, you won't care at all. Once the potatoes are fully cooked, strain them well in a colander, being sure to reserve the boiled slices of garlic as well. Immediately place the strained taters and boiled garlic into the large bowl. Now it's time to mash. Uh-uh. Use a potato masher for its intended employ. Just before you reach the desired consistency, some like them creamy, some like them chunky. Be sure to add some salt and pepper to taste. You can also add more sour cream and or milk at this point if need be. Kaboom! You've got some killer garlic mashed taters. Serve them as a side to a multitude of different dishes. Of course, they are perfect for Thanksgiving dinner, but they are just as excellent alongside midweek meatloaf. Let's dig in. Mmm. The roasted garlic and green onion really bring it to life, while the milk, butter, sour cream, and cream cheese all combine to make it so that there are not enough O's in smooth to describe this. I'm Mark Caveman Avery, and I'll see you next time on Caution Caveman Cooking's C3 TV. I'm getting back to the taters. Mm. Once the potatoes are fully cooked. Once the potatoes are fully cooked. Once the potatoes are fully. Once the potatoes are fully cooked. Ah. <laughs> 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 <sighs> <sighs>
Time out. Hello? Hello? Is this thing on?